Base, I mean, I always start out the day basically reading the Bible. So that gets me centered before I actually even go to work. And then throughout the day, I may be thinking about certain passages that I've read. My name is Anita Walton, and I'm a physician in a community clinic in San Diego. Originally, um, when I was growing up, I didn't actually decide to become a doctor. I was going into research. I had a grandmother who um, died of cancer, and my big ideal was I'm going to solve the, or find the cure for cancer. So I was going to go into research. It wasn't until I was probably a sophomore or junior in college that um, my advisor said, no, you don't need to you don't belong in a research lab, you should become a doctor. And he was the one who motivated me to go farther and to apply to medical school. And when I grew up, my parents instilled that in me, you know, to help anybody. You know, I grew up in a church background. I've been Episcopalian all my life. And, you know, I did things around the house. I did things at church, you know, and helped out. And I continued when I moved here to San Diego. Initially, I worked in a community clinic similar to the one that I'm working in now. And later I went into private practice for a few years and then um, got out of private practice because of many issues, more so it was financial. It seemed like the private practice and the different groups were more interested in money and generating money rather than patients. And I wanted to, I felt, you know, I was more in it for whatever the patients needed rather than whatever the corporations or the, the group needed. So I got out of that and went back to community medicine. and. That's where I've been ever since. The mission of the clinic is basically to see anybody who um, needs our services. We see patients um, for a variety of reasons. A lot of them have chronic illnesses because they haven't been able to have health care. Basically, you know, it's like all things are possible through God. So I believe whatever's in front of me, I'm able to do to the best of my ability at that particular time. You know, sometimes you get like you're overwhelmed and you feel like you can't do any more, but then you realize you know, your position is so much better than other people who are living it day to day, and that gives you the strength to, to carry on to try to help them out. You know, patients and even staff always say, you know, you're so, you know, even tempered and you know, nothing gets you riled up. And, you know, I, my dad always used to say, and my mother too, you know, it doesn't do any good for you to get angry. You know, all you do is you're going to cause yourself to get stressed you know, the other person or the other thing, you know, you can't do anything about it. a lot of things. You know, you just have to keep going, you know, realize God's in control and you, know, you do the best you can at that particular moment. There's always somebody out there who can help you. You know, in, in our field, people come and say, well, you know, I can't get help. Sometimes we don't actually give them pills. We don't actually give them a procedure. Sometimes we just talk to them. And they just need a sounding board or somebody, you know, that will help them. So that's a basic thing. You know, God's always watching over people if you let them. You know, some people are busy doing things so they don't let God in. But you know, if God if you do let God in, you know, He's available. You know, people who work through Him are available.